from hidden airplane secrets that could save your life to flight facts that are almost too wild to be true. These are the secrets that airlines will never tell their passengers. Believe it or not, the least comfortable seats on the plane, often found in the middle of the last row at the back of the plane, are ironically the seats with the highest survival rates in the event of a crash. Airlines would never tell their passengers that where you sit is going to impact your chances of surviving in an emergency situation. And while trying to upsell you with premium seats, they certainly are not advertising that a middle seat at the back of the plane actually has the highest survival rate if the plane were to crash land. We tend to avoid these seats at the back of the plane since they are not very comfortable and lack the reclining feature. They are also close to the bathrooms. So it's a personal choice whether to compromise on comfort for this potential safety benefit. I've personally taken hundreds of flights and I have never and will never choose to sit in the back row of seats. Let us know down in the comments if you would. And as an alternative to suffering through a long flight in a terrible seat, another way to increase your chances of a safe trip to your destination would be to pay up for a direct flight as opposed to booking multiple connecting flights. Opting for a direct flight isn't just about convenience, it's also a safety consideration that airlines are not telling their passengers about. It's a little freaky to know that most airplane accidents happen on takeoff and landing. So by choosing a direct flight, it means that you only have to go through this risk-prone part of flying one time. I'll be getting to some pretty surprising and unpleasant airline secrets near the end of this video, including one about an in-flight amenity that I only recently discovered. But for now, it's comforting to know that airlines have a ton of procedures in place which you may not even realize are for safety reasons, since they don't want to freak out passengers with all of the possible things that could go wrong. It is good to know that common flight routines are actually really important to keeping everyone safe so you have a little more motivation to follow the rules, and to make sure that everyone around you is following the rules. Some of the procedures for takeoff that frequent flyers are all too familiar with include stowing your personal item bag under the seat in front of you, closing the tray table, and opening the window shades. Personal items and electronics are stowed since they could be incredibly dangerous if they end up flying through the cabin in an emergency. An open tray table could block the way if we need to get out fast and cabin lights are also dimmed to help our eyes get used to the dark just in case we need to leave the plane in darkness. Passengers also aren't asked to open the window shades so everyone can enjoy the view. But instead, the window shades need to be opened so emergency personnel could get a good look inside the plane from the outside in the case of a crash landing. Something else that airlines are not telling us about, but really should be, is that every seat should have a life vest underneath it. And I say should because sometimes passengers walk off with these and there is a chance that your seat does not have one. It's always a good idea to have a quick look under your seat before takeoff and if you can't find a life vest, tell the flight attendant right away. But also be prepared for a delay in takeoff since every plane seat is required to have a life vest by law. Many passengers also don't know that the seat cushion can also usually detach and be used as a flotation device if needed. It's one of those fun safety features hiding in plain sight, just like the ax and the crossbow that are also hiding in the plane cabin for emergency use but good luck trying to spot those. Something you may have seen and wondered about is the tiny hole in every airplane window. It's a small detail that passengers overlook and airlines don't talk about, but it plays a big role in keeping us safe and comfortable during the flight. The hole in the airplane window is known as a bleed hole and it's crucial for regulating cabin pressure to keep the window strong and to stop it from fogging up. I did, however, grab a seat on my recent Air Canada flight to find more than a tiny hole in the window. Air Canada. Another unsettling airline feature that you may have never noticed, even if you looked straight at it multiple times, would be the ashtray in the airplane bathroom. Airlines won't tell you that even though smoking is highly illegal on airplanes, some passengers are going to break the rules and smoke anyway. 
Having a safe place to extinguish a cigarette or a joint is essential. Airplane bathrooms also have highly sensitive smoke detectors and you will be in plenty of trouble if you try to get away with smoking anything on an airplane. You also don't have quite as much privacy as you would think since there's a hidden latch under the lavatory sign on the door that lets someone unlock it from the outside. So in addition to not smoking, consider that before doing anything questionable in an airplane bathroom not the place. Let's talk about turbulence and the lesser known, but more concerning, air pockets that airlines don't want passengers to stress about since they are completely unpredictable. Clear air turbulence, or more commonly known as air pockets, can't be detected on the radar and are much more dangerous than turbulence since they can cause strong updrafts and downdrafts that could throw a passenger or pilot out of their seat. That's why apart from necessary brakes, pilots will keep their seatbelts buckled through the entire flight. I personally follow the pilot's lead since they know a thing or two about flying and I will keep my seatbelt buckled for the entire flight. Let us know down in the comments if you do as well. Something else you should wear at all times, especially if leaving your seat, are your shoes. This is another lesser known airline secret that passengers should be aware of. It goes without saying that using the bathroom in your socks on a plane is pretty gross. Those little droplets on the ground aren't always water. The aisle floors also accumulate germs that are tracked out of the airplane bathroom. So by keeping your shoes on, you're not just avoiding the unpleasantness of bathroom spills, but you are also protecting yourself from a variety of germs that could lead to a variety of foot conditions. Foot conditions you do not want. Airline crew are also well aware of the high risk for passengers getting sick due to close contact with many people and less than ideal air circulation in the cabin. But they don't often want to share the simple things that you can do to prevent yourself from getting sick since they don't want to draw attention to this downside of flying. Not good for making sales. Flight attendants are the first to admit that planes aren't as clean as you might think since the turnaround time between flights is often short and leaves limited time for cleaning. A few things you can do to protect yourself include keeping your hands out of the seat back pockets and off of those in-flight menus and magazines. Seat buckles and tray tables are also notorious for being particularly dirty and should always be wiped down before being used. You may also want to consider a tray table cover since they can protect you from germs and can also be helpful to organize your stuff during a flight. You may also want to consider keeping the air vent open. Air blown from the overhead vent is partially filtered, which can help disperse any germs in your immediate airspace. I've also heard that the continuous flow of air could potentially create a barrier around you that could stop germs from settling in your airspace, but I'm not sure how effective that really is. As for in-flight amenities, you may also want to be cautious if snuggling up in those blankets that are provided to you on most long-haul flights. I only found out recently that the pillows and the blankets are actually reused and they may only be clean for the first flight of the day. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to join us back here for more travel tips and hacks next week. Until then, safe travels and I'll see you soon. Bye!